So in this day and age, I will tell you there are way more devices that you can buy than probably ever before. Now this also includes things like phones, you know, we have so many Android phones we can choose from, but I realized, I mean, we've all kind of known this with iPhones, there's not like an endless supply of devices. But I can probably kind of argue that the iPhone 13 mini in particular is probably one of the better phones you can buy, and it probably should be your next iPhone. If you are somebody who maybe prefers a little bit of a smaller device, or if you're somebody who's coming from an existing smaller iPhone, like an iPhone 6, an iPhone 8, so on and so forth, it may make a little bit more sense to actually go and buy something like an iPhone 13 mini over even maybe like an iPhone 13, iPhone 12, you know, maybe even an iPhone 11. And obviously the iPhone 13 mini would technically be better than the 12 and the 11. There are advantages and reasons why you may want to pick up those devices too. Now, the first thing I'll definitely tell you is I think in my opinion, the iPhone 13 mini is probably one of the better built and better designed phones from Apple for that size. And before this, they've had the iPhone 12 mini and the iPhone SE and maybe the iPhone 5 and 5S. But for going down that same trajectory, there's probably not going to be another small iPhone Apple's ever going to make. So if you are somebody who wants to go ahead and get your hands on a small iPhone, that's probably going to last for many, many years. Well, probably the 13 mini is going to be the way I would recommend going, especially if you like that smaller size. Now, what's really good is that really for the most part, all the bells and whistles of the iPhone 14 are kind of there on the iPhone 13 mini. Now, of course, you're not getting a certain amount of features, but what I do like about the 13 mini is that it kind of has the same chipset as the iPhone 14. So because of that, I don't know if this one is going to last as long as the iPhone 14 per se, but this is still going to be an iPhone that is still going to perform very well. It has you know more than enough RAM inside of it to perform at decent levels. And I think at the end of the day, just from the performance segment and even the software and the longevity segment, this is also going to be one of those iPhones that's going to last for a long period of time. If you want to play heavy intensive games, if you want to go ahead and do whatever really you ever want to do with you know a specific phone like this, you are easily going to be able to do that on this device, which is perfect. So that is another big thing. Also, I, you know, the battery life I've had on this phone for the last several years has been solid. Has it been perfect? No, it's not been perfect. But from everything I've really done with this device so far, I've had a pretty good time with it. And, you know, although it could be a little bit of an improvement in some areas, I have never really complained about the size. I've never really complained about the notch, you know, things that some people may complain about. I think this is a very good phone. And honestly, I think it probably should be your next iPhone if you plan on picking it up. So... That pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.